呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀呀Do forget, cause do the jump fam, it's awesome. All you need to do is be part of the fam, it's to hit that sub button down below. And if you want, you can in, you can join the Discord. There we go. Fix. Fixed. Fix, 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 fix. <laughs> Fixed. Now you see me work doing editing in, in uh, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, we didn't fix that. We got one more thing to do. Uh, it ain't gonna matter too much. Anyways, thank you so much for dealing with all that sh nonsense. You didn't really had to. I should have edited it out and not recorded, but why not? Oh, happy hump day, everybody. This is uh, video number two for Wednesday. This is five unsolved mysteries and unexplained events. Put together by Nukes Top Five. I'm hoping it's scary, but I don't think it is. It's just mysteries and other things. Let's see if we can solve it and explain things. See if I can use my brain and see if it works. I don't think it will. I'm not that smart. Anyway, let's get into this video. Let's go! I'm ready, fam. You ready to try to make sense of this thing? Let's go. The top five unsolved mysteries. Mysterious visitor. Oh boy. Before we get to all the murder and mayhem in this list, here's an unsolved mystery that simply fits into the extremely creepy category. <sighs> oh, that's so tired. for several nights in a row, a Reddit user gets repeated alerts from his door motion sensor that movement has been detected. However, every time he checks the notification images, there's nothing there. That's weird. So he just assumes it's a neighborhood pet setting off the detector or perhaps a malfunction. Finally, okay. after the third night, the man checks his alert and finds this disturbing what picture the hell? on his front door. A strange late night visitor who appears to be wearing an odd mask. Even creepier, notice the times on the alerts. They occur around midnight then again a full four to five hours later, around 4 a.m. So, who was this person, and why was he hanging around outside the man's home all night long, seemingly in a mask? The Reddit user reports that after this picture, the mysterious visitor never returned again. All right. Let's solve that. Um... Maybe it's a stalker who was actually stalking his Reddit and realized he was caught. So he wasn't going to do it again. That's all I got. <laughs> the Head in the Woods In Economy, Pennsylvania, a teenager is strolling through the woods when he makes a grisly discovery. The dismembered head of an old woman. Oh, God. Now, that's not where the weirdness stops. Because when police investigate, they find that the head has been fully embalmed by someone. Not only that, but the eyes have been removed and replaced by rubber balls. Oh, what? Police artists compose sketches and even circulate pictures of a 3D sculpture of the woman's head. But no leads are ever found to the woman's identity oh, man. or where the head came from. 
One year later, the investigation is stopped due to lack of evidence. Pennsylvania authorities buried the head in an unmarked grave in the local cemetery. To this day, no one knows who the they woman is cast or for what happened to her body. I don't know what that that one. Beach feet. On February 9, 2016, a family was walking along Botanical Beach in British Columbia, Canada. They find a shoe washed up on the shore. Nothing strange about that. No. Except that the shoe still has a severed human foot inside. What? But it gets even stranger than that, because this is the 13th human foot to wash up on the beach of oh British my Columbia God. in the past 10 years. So you're telling me there's a serial killer out there or a serial foot shopper out there. Oh my God. In years. Please tell Theories me this has been solved. The origin of the feet run from murdered bodies dumped into the ocean to suicides and deaths at sea. But no one is quite sure on the exact explanation or why the British Columbia beach in particular seems to attract these grisly discoveries. I don't know. Paranormal. Morgellons disease. Morgellons disease is a very rare and controversial illness. Sufferers report the strange sensation of what feels like bugs crawling under their skin. Other symptoms include chronic fatigue, skin sores, and oddest of all, threads or fibers that actually appear underneath the skin. Oh, uh, what? In 2012, the U.S. Center for Disease Control said that they believed that Morgellons wasn't an actual physical disease at all, but was simply a mental illness. They suggested that the fibers were likely lint that had gotten into exposed wounds. However, tens of thousands of Morgellons disease sufferers, including singer Joni Mitchell, insist that the disease is very real. On websites and help forums, sufferers post very compelling photos of the strange fibers that they say appear under their skin. Lab analysis of some of the Morgellon fibers defy all description. Whatever the cause, there is something strange about the fibers. Forensic scientist Ron yeah. Pogue at the Tulsa Police Crime Lab checked a Morgellons sample against the 100,000 known fibers in the FBI's national database. No match at all. So it, this is some strange stuff. Not cotton, not linen, not any known natural or synthetic fiber. But despite God, reported freaky. cases of the illness dating back at least 16 years, Morgellons disease has never been officially recognized or classified as either a physical or mental illness. Oh my God. Poor kids. Oh my God. I can't imagine living like that. Oh man, I just don't. I, I honestly don't can't understand. I don't. I honestly do not know. How anyone can live like that, so... Oh, man. 4,000 Mile Death Punch On July 5th, 1996, in Surrey, British Columbia, Canada, a 31-year-old man Canada. named Blair Adams suddenly leaves his job, removes all of his cash from his bank accounts, and begins one of the strangest escape attempts of all time. I say escape attempt because Blair Adams had repeatedly claimed to friends that someone was trying to kill him and that he had to get out of town immediately. First, Blair Adams tries to cross the border into the US, but he's turned away by suspicious border guards. Next, he buys a one-way ticket to Frankfurt, Germany, leaving the next day. But apparently Adams is too afraid to wait for his flight to Germany, so instead he once again tries to cross the US border. This time, he succeeds. Okay. Adams then drives nearly 500 miles to Seattle, where he purchases another plane ticket and flies across the US to Washington, DC. From Hi. Washington, he then drives another 500 miles to Knoxville, Tennessee. In total, Blair Adams has now traveled nearly 4,000 miles from his home in Canada. In Knoxville, Adams checks into a hotel room. Now, so far, this just sounds like the crazed trip of a delusional man. Yeah. But this is where things get really strange. At 7.37 p.m., Adams leaves his hotel room. Okay. The next day, Blair Adams is found dead in a parking lot a Whoa. half a mile from his hotel room. He has been violently stripped from the waist down. Oddly, the thousands of dollars in cash that he was carrying is not missing, but instead is scattered all around his dead body. Weirdest of all, 
Blair Adams' cause of death is determined to be one single massive blow to the stomach. Pathologists say he received a single punch, kick, or unknown impact to his midsection that was so powerful that it actually ruptured his stomach. Oh my Strange god. The case of Blair Adams is still unsolved. Oh my god. Can you imagine going all that way? Oh my god. I don't I can't I can't sprain it. I can't sprain any of this shit. If you have any explanations for any of this or have any updated on these crimes or whatever, let me know down in the comments below because I really would like to know. Oh, man. I... Uh, I can't explain any of it. I just can't. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Much appreciated. Oh, if you like the content, please hit the like button down below. Hit that sub button if you haven't already. Turn on notifications. Let you know I posted a video for you guys. Sorry for my yawning. I don't know why I'm yawning. I'm not really tired, so I really don't know. And as always, you are allowed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go.